Hello again, it is yet again time for Blood Bowl. The Factors Manifesto are back, and this time we are up against a Nurgle team, the Rancidian Knights. A uh, well developed team with two particular players of note Drufu, a strength 5 uh, Nurgle Warrior, and a Pestigore Claw Mighty Blow player. Um, now, he doesn't have. Um, hold on a minute, was that mine? Yes, yeah, sorry, I was getting confused about what was up here. He doesn't have much in the way of good ball carrying, however. He does have a sort of nominated ball carrier with sure hands, but that's it. No defensive skills or anything. So, you know, it's reasonable, but uh, not not too terrifying in terms of that capacity. Obviously, Nogle's slow. They're a spoiler team. They're right, Royal Pain. Um, and this is the beginning of a tranche of bash teams I'm going to be facing. After facing down the two... Oh, crap, he's taken... A star player. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a wizard, I've got to say. He's going for a chainsaw and bribe. Okay, well, we can see where this is going then. That as as That's concerning. I was expecting a wizard. Not getting a wizard. That is okay. Um, Max Spleen Ripper is pretty fucking great, to be honest. A strength four chainsaw player is pretty good because he's so hard to put down on the ground in the first place. Although at least he's only got AV8. And the bribe will make that tricky. We have to hope he, he gets some ones with his chainsaw. So yeah. Who looks like Nobble Backwalk because all the chainsaws do. Now that's interesting. I was gonna kick uh with that that chainsaw bin around makes me a bit more concerned. Um but I think I do actually therefore want to kick. Oh, it's tricky. Do I kick or receive? Kick or receive? Kick or receive? Uh, the chainsaw is a bit of a fucking pain. Um, I think I'm going to kick. So, why kick? Well, that's pretty simple. I want to have my full complement of... Um, I want to have my full complement of... Uh, what do you call it? Zombies on the field for this defence. Okay, so you are going off, and nope, not you. And so I got sure hands on Alison in the end. So she's pretty rad ball carry now, but therefore she isn't needed on here at the moment. So, um, right, Darius, fuck Darius is probably going to chainsaw to be honest. That's pretty, pretty rotten. Okay, so let's have a look at this, shall we? So, uh, we're facing a Nurgle team here, as as expected. Um, and this fellow, here we go, strength for uh, a chainsaw. That's it, really. He's just a chainsaw-wielding guy, a Chaos Warrior. Now, speed five, however. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, one, two, three, four, five. Go for it, chainsaw. Two, go for it, with a loner. Pretty risky. Um, so, I think I'm going to go for, go like this then. Rule 5, make it tricky for them to get to other stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. I want to kick with full set of... I want to be kicking with a full set of zombies rather than later on. I don't want to be facing like that chainsaw without a full set of zombies, and he can also stuck him on the sideline. Um, as in, as in how he wishes to. Um, it's an extra strength four player, which is going to be troublesome for me to deal. It's going to be tricky for me to to handle. And again, if I, if I'd gone for the offence with overtaking the chainsaw, he probably just wouldn't put the chainsaw on the pitch initially. The bluff, the bribe means I can't grind him down and hope that he has to put him on and then loses him in the last turn of the first half, for example, if I score late. Um, he can just bribe his way through it, so there's no point trying to bug around like that. So I now have two priorities to take down, and one of them is... Where is he? Uh, this chap, Giglo, the Claw Mighty Blow, and the other one is Max. Oh, that is a 
not so great. What the hell? Okay, that is that is an odd state of affairs to be in. So his change <laughs> is this is not the player you want the ball on. Um, and if he spends time getting the ball off him, that's going to be a problem because he can't use the chainsaw. So that was a little bit of a surprise. Um, I'm not sure what he's going to do, to be honest. I presume he's going to try and chainsaw. He can't. Mm, can he afford to go forward and chainsaw the white? If he does, he's going to be really vulnerable. Um, okay. I've got to hope. I, I could redo really him having some bad rolls to open with, to be honest. Okay, he's actually trying to get people away from him. Which is fairly reasonable, I'm just not sure what... I suppose, yeah, he needs to build a cage around him now. Um, so that's a thing. Well, I suppose the Blitz will be going with Gigli then. Probably at Saren, I'm guessing, unfortunately. Or is he going to try and do a handoff with him? I'm, I'm not sure. It's safe to do it because the handoff doesn't require any rolls from Max, but um, but it's a pretty odd sort of state of affairs. He might just go for a foul, like chainsaw with a foul, with a chainsaw. I mean, in theory, he can chainsaw Jeremo and then bring round so Jer then basically three. Triple foul, uh, multi foul, poor Berenge, but so yes, I've got two new zombies to replace the ones from last time who are currently sitting out. Jeremy and Natter is back as ever. The fractal of the ring givers. The other is Berenge. Now Berenge is the is an important person in the Revolutionary League in Planescape who are against all order and structure. So definitely do not have any uh, fractal. But if they had a fractal, Berenge would probably be it. Okay, so this is his. Um, this guy's a big threat. Claw mighty blow. Not nice. Not really sure what I'm going to do with some of these guys, to be honest. I could really, I could, I'm hoping that the beast is going to give him some problems during this match and go stupid at bad moments or whatever, you know. Yeah, he's going to try and do the handoff here and get him the other ball out there. Which he's successfully done. Okay. That means the chainsaw is now free to do stuff next turn. <clears throat> which is a deep and abiding shame. Okay. Yeah, so that was interesting. So let's do some basics. Uh, stand you, you up. Stand you up. Okay, unfortunately the zombies are there to get punched a lot. Right. So what I want to do is ideally just kind of gunge up this whole area here. Um, right, let's have a think. Okay. So I'm just going to have to try and pop some things off the front of here. Right, can this guy actually get any of scary? Not so much, no. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we're going to 
There's Aaron over here, I think. <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> anyway. right, yeah. Sort of reinforce there. Uh, Karen, I'm thinking about where I want to try and push around. If I run around, I'm going to get jumped on. Um, but he's not that fast, so I think for now we're just going to sort of be a bit wary. And this poor guy is just going to try and get in the way. So, yep, yeah, we've we've lined up. Ideally, his team's going to start to break up and push down a one side or the other at some point. Um, at which point, I can then try and um, isolate some of his players. Okay. So he's going to shot me this way, so he's going to push down the right, I'm guessing. Which is definitely fine by me. Okay, he hasn't brought the beast in, that's interesting. Oh, that, that on the other hand is interesting. Interesting choice. Is he going to try and make force me to connect over here? I'm not sure. Oh, he's just going to try and hit him. Okay. Come on. No, he's not really stupid. Don't. Yeah, he's trying to sort of gunge up my defensive line a bit. Oh, and he is in fact driving in to make contact over here. That's interesting. Okay. Fortunately, I'm starting to run out of zombies just who are up. Right then, so let's figure this one out, shall we? Okay, I need to sort of push through here somehow. I'm just gonna get punched a lot over here, unfortunately.
chainsawing distance, unfortunately. Question is, do I want to move in here and force them to avoid moving up? This question. No, so I do that. You can chain push. No, you can't chain push this guy. Chain push this angle and push him out there, which isn't so good. But if we move up here. Get in the mix with the warriors, maybe. Hmm. Okay. So I could pull back a little bit further. I think we sort of wobble our way back over here, actually. Okay, he bits him, he bits him. We then step up. That's one. God. Oh, it's tricky. But yeah, I think we move up here <clears throat> to protect this area. Get done without those zombies getting stunned, to be honest. The only saving grace is you can't blitz with both the claw and the chainsaw at the same time. <clears throat> that, however, is some good timing. Takes a guard out of commission. Unfortunately, so it was a three plus dodge, but I didn't want to open that area up for him to push in. And he hasn't followed up, so he's not going to get the guard on the mummy. Means he's probably considering using the chainsaw. Yeah, here we go. Okay, that's good. That means he can't move up there. The KO is less good. You move someone in. Yeah, I think he's planning to to hit the. No, it'd only be a one die though on the mummy if he did. Oh, he's gonna block those from one guy. Okay, he's going to screen to remove his ball carrier down. I'm assuming. He might be going for the Pentar, actually. Oh no, I see he's not yeah, that's not set up for a block. That that's a screening action. He needs to screen here to uh because the beast just derped up. I'm surprised he's making contact though. Point says he's done it all wrong. I'm glad to hear it. Nice to know my opponent is my opponent doing something wrong for once, rather than me just stuffing things up. Yeah. Okay. So as expected, we're going to see that, but that is a go for it. Come on, let's have a one. Let's have a one. No, hit him though. Damn it. Um, he's not going to engage there, unfortunately. But he can't get out of there again, which is important. He's oh no, he's gone for it again. Oh, you sneaky little sod! Um, what we'll be doing is we'll be trying to make contact with you there. Then oh, I could, uh, if these mummies were the other way around, it would be better. Okay.
Okay, let me think about where I'm moving my guys here for a moment before I do anything stupid. Yeah, this is the prob zombies getting shaky down. Okay. I hit this guy. I do I want to bring this guy up here then. Uh, to to do some of that. So Interesting. What I do here is, is quite it is quite confusing. I want to get someone off out of the way. But I can't do that that easily that way. Which means possibly sticking Erin there instead. Not how I necessarily like to do it, but how it might need to be done. Uh, the mummy's gonna be in chainsawableness, unfortunately. Less. Boom. One, two, three. Can I hit him meaningfully? The answer is not really. Although, he's not valid. So someone could get an assist over there. In fact, I could have used Aaron. Oh, I could use Aaron to do it. Fuck that up. Balls. Now that's kind of shaft to me, but I don't dare. F this this guy's too risky uh, to sign that with. Bollocks. He's playing very cagely here, and I can't quite get the needed... Oh, he's strength 5, isn't he? Shit. I <coughs> can't quite get the needed stuff here, can I? Okay, I think I might start playing a bit harder then. Threat into play. sort of glued. On the other hand, he's now having to pull people back a little bit, which is nice. He still doesn't have the free guard, which is something. Well, he does now, though, doesn't he? Shit. Mm. So he's blocked off my threat round there. He's going to try and go for a turn 8 touchdown, which is fine. Uh, still gives me... It's roughly what I want. The real threat is what he's going to do himself. Um, he's thinking about putting back for the screen, which I think he might need to do. So I'm presuming he's going to use the, the chainsaw to hit somebody then. Praying for a one on that chainsaw to turn up, that'd be lovely. No, he hasn't, which means he's freed the chainsaw up to move in and hit. Which is a bit of a sod. On the plus side, wherever they go, they will be in position for me to hit them back. Okay, they are going for the they're going for my straight forward, they're going for Aaron, okay. Yep, they're gonna take the the core the end off, as it were. Oh, come on. Failed the loner. Fantastic. And that 
That's gone slightly sideways. And he's removed himself. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. He's taken himself out of play with his first action. Amazing. What did he do to himself anyway? Just did it badly hurt. Okay, well, that has obviously changed things up a bit. We can now look at sort of putting some more pressure on and ideally putting this little sod into the dirt. Not having any luck with sort of putting him down, and I don't have the free zombie I would like to go and put the fucking boot in. Where's my other zombie that he's just over there? Okay. But that is pretty big. Right, let's crack on them. Right, this is very important though because I need to not fuck this up, ideally. Okay, let's try now and do a mass engage. <coughs> it's a bit of a risk, but I want ideally to get this guy down. Okay. Okay, now you're relatively happy over here. Probably want to hem him in down there. Yes, 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 he's away, he's away. Okay, I can afford to use reroll every turn now. Got multiple people on his um, ball carrier. Let's see how this goes. Fantastic. He's going to try and break out this side then, but look at it. He needs to move the boost and then try and dodge out this way. I don't know why I put the guy with tackle on, given that he doesn't have anyone with dodge, but I guess it makes sense. So he's probably going to now try and reorient down this side. Oh, another KO zombie. He's not winning the numbers war as well as he would be if he hadn't chainsawed his guy though, so I'm not going to complain. Now, rather importantly, the zombie next to him does have guard. Unfortunately, there's this warrior, which could be a bit of a concern for me if the zombie if he hits school. Oh, pardon me. So, presumably, he's going to try and now rebuild down the left-hand side, uh, but because he's been kind of he stalled a bit while trying to set his corridor up. Uh, he's actually not left himself with all that many turns to get going anywhere. No, he's not. Okay, he's he's reinforcing here instead. Presumably, his defence in case this goes wrong, he's not able to, and and the ball comes free. Wait, hold on. Did I use the wrong bloody white to hit him? I did. I'm a cretin. I'm a complete idiot. I thought I used... I thought that was Pentar who went in there. 
but it was Saren. Shit. Oh, I balls that one up. Damn it. I suppose it means my killer is lurking further back, ready to go, but not as helpful as it could have been given he's the one with guard. What decisions to make here? You can. I don't think you can afford to one dime, you have to bring someone else in, which he's going to do, and he's successful in doing. Which will allow him to unfortunately two dice school, which is a pain because school is going to be spending all his time standing back up again. Oh no, but a push will get part of what he wants. Now he's taking the block, he's taking the block, and that's interesting because the two guards are going to make it slightly troublesome for me, but not horrifically so. Because I also have a guard in there. What are you doing? Are you going to dodge? Yes! Down he goes. There's another reroll at the very least. Possibly the ball coming free. Yes! Down he goes! Fantastic! And it's an armour break. And that is amazing. Let's do some shit. Yeah, this guy's not in a great position, unfortunately. Right. I need to do here. But the problem is, what I need to do is I need some free dudes, um, and the only free dude is Erin. So, interesting question as to what I do here. Fucking that up it was a bit of a screw up, wasn't it? Right. <clears throat> if I moves in, if I just moves in there, okay. But if I'm going to do that, where can where can you go? That's meaningful and helpful. This linebacker is going to be a bit of trouble, and I doing that guy hasn't actually helped me very much. So, uh, I think I need to move you up here. Okay, well, let's have a think. Where's my... If I do this, I can punch him, but then where's the blitz going to come from? And the blitz could come from Duke Rowan. One, two... Blitz there, blitz into him, cause some trouble, or it could come up there. Okay. Okay. And that is why I want sure hands on what's the face. Got it. Okay. Right, and we're off. Damn it, I've used the reroll, haven't I? Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I just cocked this lot up as well. Pop you there. So you set that up. Okay. Damn it. I made a cock up. That's a bit less bad. That was a series of generally not awesomes, to be honest. Not how it could have gone there. Um, however, we are in position to hand off to Karen next turn and do a fucking peg it up the pitch. Uh, that didn't go quite as it planned on my turn either. On the other hand, I have the ball at this point, which is important. 
even if everything else has kind of gone pear-shaped and while my mum is probably about to get fouled, to be honest. If I'm honest, because <laughs> he's got a bribe. Darius has actually proved pretty handy. I mean, keeping that guard out of there is pretty important. Yeah, yeah here we go. He's going to hit him with the... Uh, push him up and then presumably foul the shit out of him. Unfortunately, poor dude. My dude. Do I need to risk a handoff? The other option is a... Is a um, what do you call it? Go for it. Which is less risky. Ooh, that's a bit of a pain. I mean, that means, yes, I'm going to have to just fucking peg it, I guess. Hmm. Haven't seen the end of it yet, though. The advantage is strength four on Aaron. And of course, there's a clear pal. I just want my blodgers to be worthwhile for once. Okay, right. Well, we are not out of the woods yet, but we do have the ability to now thread through here instead. I presume he's going to move into base base contact. Yep, which is what we're going to see. But that's not the end of the world. In fact, I would be, if I can get a guy for it, I'll be exceedingly tempted. To try and crowd surf him instead of legging it off up the pitch. Okay. And he's free. Bit of a shame. Oh, that unfortunately does stop me doing some crowd surfer armoring. It does mean that Giglai is still the primary target for getting punched. Oh, he has. He's gone all that way. Uh, and obviously that's not the way I'm about to go. Have I anyone spare? Right, okay. So, uh, am I going to throw a block to get him off there? No, not with him. That's just too fucking risky. Okay, so I'm just going to dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can get over here. That's what I need. I need that. Okay. One, two, three. Uh -huh. Do I have anyone spare to really to protect me if I do that? Of course, not really. But one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Bring in one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, you can easily get up there to help block off of there. But you're going to have to go there first, really, aren't you? Okay, so just to start with, let's have a think what I'm going to do. Very tempted to pile over. He hasn't got guard. He does. Him, with enough guards on there, can actually do some sort of fucking damage. So I might need to do that. Right, that's what we can do here. To there, I think. Because then one, two, three, four, five, six. So you are going to go up here. Okay, let's. It's a moment of truthing it here. Away he goes, yep. Come on, Duke, now's your time to shine. Yes, excellent. Oh, 
Honestly, I'll take the real at this point. Yep. Okay. Erin is probably in a lot of trouble. Um, I could have tried to go for it, but I wouldn't be able to really reach that much further anyway. All my foul bait zombies are on bases. Okay, yeah, unfortunately he's now opened up the pesty to get in there. He doesn't have any handy dandy guards, however. So he can't get easily get two dice. It'd be tricky. It's possible, but not not easy. So he doesn't keep Karen marked. I can then move Karen up as a different receiver. I don't think. I think he needs that rotter in to stop Erin's implacable advance. To be honest. Oh, oh, oh! You trying to set something up over? Come on, fail! You only got two rolls, so once we use the reroll, no. Okay, yeah, you're setting yourself up to get two dice over here. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm surprised doing that before you sort of before you blitz. It's still not going to leave you with the guard free this turn. Oh, it is! It is! Oh, I see. No, yes, he has. He's managed to pull the guard free over here, because he had strength 5. I've forgotten about that fucking strength 5 guy. Which means he can bring him in, and then two dice Erin. Poor Erin. Now, is he going to make a mistake and go there? Oh, that would be a mistake. Where he wanted to stand. Go on. The reason it would be a mistake, I think, is because if this goes wrong, he's much better to be in the position up here. On the other hand, if it goes right, he's better on this side because that way he can recover the ball more effectively. But he needs, he's going to need to put this Pestigore downfield um, to have a chance. No, he's, he's doing it that way. Okay, so he's, kind of, he's sort of banking on it working out because he's going to push this way. But we'll see. He's gonna try and push him in there, yeah, I see. He's got him. I'll take the down. Oh, it's an injury! It's an injury in Aaron. What is it gonna be? Ah, and that is a career ender for Aaron. Unfortunately, minus one strength on a plus strength piece puts Aaron for a replacement. On the minus side, he's probably just managed to stop me scoring there. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. A classic, a deadly piece has unfortunately just been taken out of action. Um, right, let's have a look over here. He's, oh, he's really pushing his luck here. Okay. Be a bit unimpressed if he manages to recover from here. He's really stupid. And that's that's pretty bad for him. Obviously. Okay. Um, do I have any meaningful chance of recovering that ball? The answer I think is no. What I can try and do now is stop him scoring. See if this works out. That's worked out just fine. And I'll take the KO. Okay.
Oh, fantastic. Decay has put him with a whole host of horror. Can I one dice him? I can one dice him, can't I? Let's see if we can do that. That, that's good. Okay, uh, there's not a lot I can do for Saren up there, unfortunately. Uh, the best thing he can do is, is I guess, now get the crack it. Uh, in fact, no, there's nothing good. There is nothing good about this situation for Saren. Um, there is no way that um, this says, Whoa! Oh, I was going to say, there's no way this ends well for him, but actually. Well, no, it still didn't end well for him, let's face it. Um, he's used up his reroll. He's trying to get... Is he trying to get him off the ball? I'm not sure. No, he's not. He's going to hit him with Giggly. I think maybe he was thinking about hitting Skull with Giggly. But that idea has kind of gone out the window, really, hasn't it? Okay, yeah. He's which tagged him. Should I put ball through? That's an injury! Oh, no! Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I need... He's regen. Oh, thank Bugger for that. Whew. Okay, that's important. Now, I could have gone upstream with um, Karen and, and sort of threatened still, but I really <laughs> wanted to sort of unpick this mess a little bit. I'm just... Yeah, we're sort of running out of dudes. Uh, I could do with either of those chaos coming back to us. As could he. Oh, another KO. This is going not so great. And he's back in the fuck out of there. To avoid getting the shit kicked out of him. He's dodged. And fumbled the ball. Okay. Well, he's firmly put most of his dudes out of the way. So let's now look at maybe just trying to do some damage, I guess. Um, I'm not going to try and foul because I don't have enough dudes at the moment. To, uh, to, I can't afford to... If a bunch of those KO rolls don't work out, I need someone back on the blue pitch. Um... Okay, I think I'm going to use school for this. He's almost level up. Why? Oh, Pentel has level up. Oh, okay. In theory, I should have used someone else, but I'm going to use school to get the three dice. Hopefully, put another one of these guys off the pitch. I kind of knew that the career ender for um. For what's face was was coming eventually. Um, it, for Erin, it was going to happen eventually. I played riskily with her. She's a lot of TV with those two, and the agility four wasn't massively useful. It was handy as a backup. Less so now that Allison has become a really dedicated ball carrier. Okay, so important ones here. Okay, unfortunately those both guys both come back up. And all of mine come back up. Oh, thank buggery for that. Right, I feel a lot happier now going into this half. Okay. Now, let's have a look. He's down too, but he's fine because he has 30 man bench. So he's still got 11 men on the field. I have 11 men and a reserve. Real pain I didn't manage to get that ball out of there. Um, I just couldn't see any. Well, I could, they, I could have focused more on guarding the ball, and if I had, Erin would not now be crippled. Um, but that is the end of that one, really. The strength for... The 50 TV for plus strength is worth so much that a minus strength makes it unfeasible to keep to keep Erin in their current condition, so I'm going to replace her with Erin Darkflame. A new ghoul with the same name. She's shuffled back off and off, on, off and on again to maintain the team theme. Now, the git I want to kill is this fucker. I want Giggly dead, ideally. He's going to go for a very heavily slanted uh, starting lineup in order to... 
Um, take advantage of perfect defences. And make it a little bit harder for me to figure out what I'm doing. However, if I can open an avenue now, I'm not gonna be able to I'm not gonna be able to get to him here, am I? It's a bit of a pain. I had him on the island, it's quite a tempting target. Okay. Okay, let's get that my uh, so if I'm uh, basically, I'm going to do my setup. I might be about to let my timer run for a while. Uh, if you see me doing that, it's because my opponent's just AFK from Mount Brigo to Lou and he's just asked me to, to do so. Um, right, so let's do the standard. Now, what I want to do here, actually, is I want to avoid contact with that beast just now, just yet. So let's just sort of let's cover this side here carefully. The issue is these bloody strength four little shits. And what to do about them? can sort of wind my way around. I want to basically hit this little bugger here, ideally. Okay, so. Now he has kick, this is a problem. He has kick. So if I go really heavily slanting on one side, what's gonna happen is, he's gonna try and kick it down the other. That's what's going on here. Sorry, I wasn't paying enough attention. Set myself up nicely to hit where I need to go. Yeah, it's, it's not just a perfect defence, it's also a kick. Okay, as expected. Okay, I get an extra reroll. It's landed. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's not too shabby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So how we're going to start here? So we open with this grab, which pulls him that way. Oh shit! He had wrestle. I wasn't paying enough attention there. Okay, that was a bit of a screw up. In fact, that was quite a substantial screw up. I go so far as to say that was a colossal fuck up. Okay, I balls that one up badly. Um, so what I need to do now is figure out what I'm going to do. Bit of a cock up. Okay. Throw one back. Just push him out there. There we go. Now then. Move in and catch that guy up. Good. Okay. What I need is that guy not to be there, ideally, uh, so I can uh, scoop in. That area. Okay. 
and then he scoops in and comes around that way. He moves in to guard this side. He moves up to him and dodge out. Okay. Okay, let's work this shit out. Okay, that is when you just not paying enough attention to what your opponents have, and that guy had bloody wrestle, which kind of dicked me over. Uh, I've just sort of balls this whole thing up to be honest quite badly. I've made several mistakes here. Snake. And we're away. Okay. Right, I snotted that lot up quite badly. I could have smashed this guy into fucking dirt. Jeez, used the wrong thing. Got a splitted. That, my friends, is what you do when you're a cretin. Glad I've got the extra reroll from the kickoff again. I frankly need it to deal with my level of competence today. Giggler can actually swing in now and no, can't quite get in to hit a ghoul, thankfully. The zombie's going to be in trouble. So I'm assuming he's going to hit this guy with a three dice, but with Giglai because he's building a lot of dudes on there for a for a hit. So yeah, it'd be like if you didn't then hit him, it'd be a waste. He's got him. Tagged him. It's a KO. Could do without the KOs. Regular zombie at least, no specials. God, I can't believe I bollocks that one up quite so badly. But I did. God, I hate playing Nurgle. All these annoying powers they've got, you know, um, the stuff that just sort of fucks with your ability to do what you want to actually do. Right, okay. Okay, let's try and grind up here then. There's a thing. Right, we've got an ability to run forward. Now I'm not going to take it just yet. Don't have enough guys to then move up, to be honest. Well, I'm inspired by that fucking thing. Uh, uh, yeah, not, I can't f meaningfully roll up without just getting hit on the hit in the face. But it's giving me some numbers that are good. You're stuck there, I'm afraid, Terence. Not a lot I can do about that. Is this amusing? This is Reese. No, I need Reese. Which I don't know. I don't want to stick it quite together like that. I'll end up being uh, shuffled in ways I don't want to go. Uh, and Karen is going to go here if it's him. Yeah, okay. Karen's going to go there. That strength five warrior is a massive pain as well.
Okay, I'm happy with we've still got both those guys pinned by uh, by the zombie there. Where it's pinned, he could try and dodge away, of course. Just can't quite get a gig light. It's a bit frustrating. You know, these the two teams are sufficiently slow and crunchy that it's not quite unlike uh, towards the end of the first half it fragmented and everyone's going everywhere which is temporarily advantageous until I got shit kicked out of Erin but um, for now it's quite hard to get anywhere he's got enough strength four and five guys it's giving me real problems Okay, so he's going to go in, he's going to try and hit Darius. Got him. Ugh. Okay. Slows down my advance, but doesn't stop it. I'm having real problems fighting the in winning individual fights here due to some of these strength and damage things he's got going. Right, well, we're going to hit Wiry Ren of the Rotter anyway. So I was being distracted by a four year old. You want to be to sharpen some pencils. Oh, okay, please, 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 please fail the. Yeah, he's just let it happen. Okay. I suppose he doesn't want to get hit. Did he have anything else to do? Uh, no. Right, okay, so the question now is, how do we do this? Do we advance down the middle and beat the shit out of everything over here? Swing back left. Um, and generally move up. We can go one, two, three. Yeah, the problem is I can't... He's sort of choking that area off a bit. Um, stand some of these guys up. If I move him up... Slow in the front here. We'll move in here and blitz. Smack him down. Yeah. Because I can <sighs> It's interesting. Um, if I just want to get the touchdown in. Saren moves up to there. He bits around the way. Four, five, six. Uh, I can get a, a half cage together. No major problems with that. Um, and it gets that guard out of the way, which is actually pretty fucking tempting to be honest. Hmm, okay. I think therefore what we're gonna do is so we're gonna move in with Yep. Really need this guy down. Thank you. Good, good. Decay, but all badly hurts, that's all. Right. Right up here. Uh, they're going to come in and, and knock the top of this, so they're going to try to. So we're going to storm up here for the half cage. Darius up to try and hold the beast for a turn. Okay, we're off. Okay.
setting ourselves up for a reasonable shot at a touchdown. Unfortunately, yeah, I, I, I should have pushed him there. Might muck that up. Unfortunately, he's going to smack poor bloody Pentar in the face. But, um, kind of have to push forward hard here. Committed to a certain extent. We've also managed to glue enough people in the process to make it a little bit trickier for him. Damn it, yeah, He's bloody pesticles. Okay, but he's not down. So he's not out of action. He can get back up and blitz back. Okay, well he's got to be moving a guy up to protect him here. There's no, there's no way on earth he's doing anything apart from that, right? Um, because obviously that's the ultimate in crowd surfing fodder, otherwise. So I just need you to fuck her all up. <laughs> he's just gonna stuff it full of these random little shits, isn't he? Okay, he's, he's, he's thought discretion is the better part of Valor here. Uh, he's going to be a bit more careful about taking those risks here. Okay. Okay, well, we're in touchdown range now, if we have to. I don't I don't really want to at this stage. Uh, not my preference. That'll give him plenty of turns to get touchdown back in himself. Oh, you little shit. Uh, I should have guessed he'd take advantage of something like this, unfortunately. Okay. Bit of a pain. Could have done with these guys being up and about. I think worth it just to keep the beast in place. Good. And then indeed this Noga Warrior in place. Shame about the guys who are stuck in various places, I have to say. Got to be very careful here though. So. This guy's in completely wrong fucking place, unfortunately, as well. I ideally want him out of the way. So I can bring this guy one, two, three, four, five, smack him down. Okay. There we go. Shit, oops, that didn't quite work out. That was less than ideal. Get set. And of course the gopher fails because gopher it's with mummies are like kryptonite. Double one! In the, it's just always the double ones, isn't it?
Okay, well that's kind of cocked up a lot of this. Oh. God damn it, dude. Bloody mummies. Now, what I'm hoping my opponent hasn't remembered is that he's got a bribe. Ah, uh, this is bad. Ball is safe for now. It's not going to last very long, especially because I stuck him there like a lemon, which was a bad move. He's just keeping two of these guys pinned to him really effectively. Giving me a lot of problems here. And now the fucking beast is going to move in, and that's going to shaft me. I'm going to end up having to make a desperation move here. Barring it. No, you didn't, stupid. Damn it. It's not the end of the world, but this is looking pretty shabby right now. Like, this is pretty awful. I think there might be some crowd surfing in my future. This, unfortunately, could be a game-losing situation, which is a bit of a pain. A bit of a pain, really. Bloody guard with tentacles right in the middle there is not what I needed. Okay, the question is, can I basically run the fuck away at this point? Which might be what I have to do. Come on, let's have a double skulls or something. Let's have some really shit rolls. Nope, he's pa he's really rolling well. Like, clean pals repeatedly, or, or hits repeatedly. I can't fault his blocking game this match. Meanwhile, I can't get clear hitting on this little ship. Very cagey with him, keeps on pulling him back safety. This entire area is about to get blocked up now, unfortunately. Which is going to leave me with very little option other than pulling back. Yep. Yeppers. Well, that's not completely true. If I can get a hit on this guy somehow. No. Nah. He doesn't have guard, which is interesting. Yeah, that's the issue here, isn't it? The two dices are not the happening. Okay, so that hasn't really worked out very well. Ooh, that's a chain push. Got him. Shit. He's trying to completely pen me in. That is bad. That is really bad. Pentos has been KO'd as well. This is fucking terrible. Uh, that's me probably fucked, unfortunately. Um, because he literally is in a lot of trouble getting out of there. Oh my word! Well, I suspect I've lost this match. That snake eyes on the mummy has completely feckin' fucked me. <sighs> Jesus. This is just terrible. I'm just going to get mass crowd surfed. And there's nothing I can do about it. Oh my god. This has all gone really fucking wrong. There's not even any way to dodge to. Shit. 
Okay. Let's do some basics. Let's stand some guys up, I guess. Ah, oh, shit. How do I even do anything here? I have no one who can meaningfully move. And my team is literally about to get destroyed. I can't even dodge meaningfully out there, I'll just get butchered. I can't dodge out this way, I'll get butchered. Fuck. Very low chance of this working at all in any way. Right. Is there anything meaningful I can do here? The only meaningful good thing I can do here is attempting to two dice uphill this fucking beast in Nurgle. Yes! Oh. You, Sunny Jim, are going that way. And unfortunately, I've got to feed this guy into the fucking meat grinder. No, that's it. Ah, oh, well, I've got partway there, and then it's just all gone completely tits up. Uh, he has four turns to retrieve the ball and get it up pitch. My guys are completely shafted as and where they're standing. This was going so well until that mummy double wand. Now this game could be about to go extremely badly wrongly for me because losing Erin was one thing but getting a whole bunch of people crowd surfed in the light is quite another uh, as is happening. Okay, the only possible saving grace here is where this ball goes. And that's not particularly fantastic for me to be honest. Okay, I think we're on damage control at this point. God, that was just atrocious. Um, I'm quite low on dudes on the pitch, I think. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The, this strength five guy playing two zombies has been huge, and it's partly because I pushed that dude in the wrong direction when I did that uh, and freed him up. That was that would have severely unfucked me if that hadn't been the case. But it was, so I fucked that up badly. This is not a massive benefit to him doing this, to be honest, because Claw doesn't help against the ghoul at all. Um, and in fact, doing so will... He, the, the beast has also got Mighty Blow, and doing this will, put, will you know... Uh, no, he can't... Yeah, he can't crowd surf his own... My own dudes, my dudes off, unfortunately. Fortunately. Oh, I don't know. Clear pals. Well, three dice, so that was not, not very surprising. Um... But yeah, that's he's 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 just setting me up for mass crowds. I'm just going to have a whole set of guys pinned here that I'm not going to be able to do anything with, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going to move in to get yourself the assists. And it's just going to be guys getting knocked down all along until I stop standing the team up, I guess. And we're not out of commission yet, but things are looking pretty bad. Okay. Not fantastic. Yep. Here's clean pal. Aye, aye. Stop blocking my dudes over. This, yeah, that mummy double wanting there has probably cost me the game. My only hope is he now isn't. He just has problems picking the ball up, basically. That is all I can hope for. Or oh, I try some zombie dodging. Right. He's got short hands, so that's unlikely to be an issue. Well, 
shitcock. Oh no, you little shit. Yeah, he's good, but he's remember he's got a bribe. Get sent off. He's dead. Wow. Yeah, as I said, this match was likely to go horribly wrong, and it is going horribly wrong. Uh, and I'm not really sure what else I can do at this point. I don't think there is a lot, unfortunately. So, one, I'm down two ghouls so far this match, basically. I've got, I'm up a zombie, not that it's very helpful. Um, I wish I could actually be happy about that. Right. Right. Can I meaningfully do much with this guy? <clears throat> not an awful lot, no. I just need to move a bunch of my own dies over here. <clears throat> sort of reinforce my little mob here. Take a look. I mean, I've got nothing that much else to do right now. I can try and just slow him down a bit. No, it doesn't case. Didn't work. Okay. Now he's going to kick the shit out of me. Oh, this has just gone brutally, brutally wrong. At least the, the game's almost up. <sighs> Down two ghouls. Not good timing, to be honest. I'm going to be keeping them, the pile of zombies I've got by the look of it. And this is a, 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 a god-awful time for it, too. Um, and the reason I say that is because I'm going into now so this, this tranche of grinding games against crunchy, bashy teams. Um, and... Losing ghouls now, losing developed ghouls now is not great. The only saving grace is that Alison is off the pitch without having gotten crippled. Oh, yeah, he's got to clear him out of the way because he wants to free up the pestigal. So, and now with Juflu. Hey, another stupid. Could have done with one of that one earlier. When he came in and pinned all those guys in, that was the time to have the one happen, basically. So yeah, what happened? I should have. I didn't push as hard head as I hard head as I could, or but equal, I didn't. I should have either pushed in for the touchdown or withdrawn. I faffed about and then got completely fucked when the mummy double wound. Interesting point at this point, does he try to try, you know, to take out more of my guys with fouling and that's crippled me? Or does he try and leave my team attacked so I'll be more difficult for the later opponents I face? Um, uh, is the question, really. Damn it. Oh, and I lose another guy off the pitch. I am rapidly running out of dudes. Okay, yeah, he's bailing out there, which is fairly reasonable. He's got the ball. Hmm. Yeah, that. <laughs> Come back. And that, unfortunately, makes it safe. Ooh, what's he doing? He's just really trying to make sure I'm penned in. Which is reasonable. Didn't even get my hands on that pestigal once, which is a bit frustrating. That would be a bad dodge to make. 
No, he's going for. Oh, he's just trying to. I suppose he's just trying to get out of, of range. Uh, yeah, that's not really what you want to make. Or try to make, rather. Hmm. Right, that's something. This guy. Now I'm out of rerolls. Double skulls, because of course they are. I said to my opponent, these games happen. Sometimes you get nuffled, sometimes you get fucked. I, I fucked up my approach, I guess. Um, so I managed to stop his assault, but then managed to quite get pull out a touchdown, uh, breaking his drive. Uh, he then stole mine. He has managed to get away with this almost certainly, and um, my team has just taken a really bad loss. Not a crippling loss because the Ag4 ball carrier is still around, but uh, it, this has been a really bad set of hits. Um, primarily losing Karen, um, Erin. Is bad, but not the end of the world. Karan is much worse because that's a useful experience school. The only thing was he was carrying chat tackle, and I have a fair bit of tackle. Um, so this is what they call in the business TV trimming, <laughs> um, in fairly brutal style. I'm gonna have a whole host of fucking um, zombies for a while. So the tackle on Karan is the the blodging that Karan represents is is the loss here. The tackle less bad. Um, the um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing I can do here now. Um, to stop my opponent. Right, so who's going to throw a block? Um, there's not a lot I can really do, to be honest. This is on the best of two. Does, who, do I have anyone who could actually afford to get some, could do against some XP? Um, answer is yes. I'm actually going to hit him. Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm going to hit him with uh, Reese, because Reese could actually do with some SPPs. In case, in case this goes off, you know. Okay, that is the end of that. Oh, what horror, what horror. It was always going to happen. The ghouls were always going to get trimmed just because they're ghouls. Um, I just wasn't expecting it to be quite such a horrific mangling in one go. Um, to lose two ghouls in one go is, is pretty pretty awful. Uh, I do not want to keep Jean-Luc, no. Doesn't match the theme. Darius got the MVP again. 
What the hell, man? He sucked up seven MVPs in 26 matches. This is insane. What is wrong with this guy? He's now level five or whatever. Um, what the crap? Okay, so I got several level ups out of that. Not necessarily the ones I wanted, but I got several level ups. Um, Mummy, Pentar, uh, and Darius all leveled up. Um, let's see, is that processed yet? It hasn't processed yet. Okay, so let's talk about that for it. That went horribly fucking wrong. Uh, one nil loss. Um, oh, what, what? I just I fucked up the drive. I fucked it up really bad. I'm not. And the double one from the mummy was pretty critical. I should have been, I guess, more conservative. Pull back. Didn't. Got the shit kicked out. I'm so wary of that bloody blitzer. I just couldn't take that fucking. I couldn't get my hands on the damn thing. Three of these. Right now, I'm afraid, Erin, is getting the chop. Still 13 players. And we're going to be buying at least one new ghoul. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start with buying a new Erin. To put me back up to three ghouls, but probably not four yet. Okay. Uh, oops. It's the same guys. Because I'm using them a lot, I guess, because they're reliable. They tend to gravitate more of these damn things. Okay, so a regular... For school, this is probably going to be stand firm. Grab is kind of tempting, but probably stand firm. Pentar. Double on Pentar. Now that's interesting. Obvious choices are jump up and dodge. Pentar's going to be a real fucking star. Darius. A 10. I'm not going to give him armor value, it's not worth it. I'm not going to give him movement, it's only movement 5, even with plus move. I'll have a real think about that. He's just turning such a bloody stat ho uh, TV hog. He's kind of really fucking with my, uh, with my, with my zen, man. Um, yeah, so that was a bit of a cock-up, all told. Um, that did not go as planned, even slightly. Uh, it's a loss where I really could have done with that one. And the team is looking pretty fucking battered. Um, I can buy both ghouls back. I'm probably not, go not going to go do that. I'm probably going to stick with the zo extra zombies right now. And we're going to see what I'm up against next is the changing Zinch by the high-end Chaos teams. They are facing another Chaos team. Um, for once, I'm going to have some TV to spend. Wow. Ooh, ow, ooh, ow. That, that sort of tore a hole in some of my progression plans for the team. Um, and yeah, just ouch. Guess we'll just have to see what happens next. At least I got my dirty player back for next time. Thank you for watching and uh, sharing my pain. Thoughts, comments, criticisms, let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.